Good evening to be one CQ. We seem to have another DMR radio on the scene from Retrievers. Oh, hello. What's going on with this? No, I don't want that to come up on the screen. I can say goodbye to that. Let's get back down to this. It's the Retrievers Alliance H1. Six watt GPS. APRS, UHF, VHF, dual band DMR radio with 500,000 DMR contacts. Have a look at the radio. That doesn't actually look too bad. It looks quite nice. Let's see what it actually includes. The H1 GPS APRS VHF and UHF dual band DMR radio is a game changer for outdoor enthusiasts and ham radio operators with its advanced features like APRS GPS AES 256 encryption and SFR functionality. The H1 delivers unmatched performance, security, and convenience with you exploring the wilderness coordinating a team or gauging in ham radio activities. And it also has talk alias. Now we know about the we know we know about the dual band mode. Two tier stuff for the DMR. Oops. Let's get down to the interesting bit. Dual display, dual standby, APRS, we all know about. GPS as well. Hello, what's going on with my PC later on this afternoon? No, mate, I don't want you. Better? Large uh, contact capacity, where you've got um, 4,000 channels, usual and DMR radios and some, and 500,000 DMR contacts. Uh, and the power output of this device is 6 watts, 3 watts, and a half a watt. Uh, it just repeats what I just said. Talk Alias uh, Amateur Radio allows you to set your specific display name by the computer, which is good helper for rescuing teammates to identify the caller. And there's Talk Alias. Uh, C type charging. Uh, let's have a look with its powerful 2900 milliamp hour battery and the built in power saving features. The the H1 supports up to 24 hours of standby time, 15 hours of continuous working time under under excuse me under analog mode, and 23 hours under digital mode. Type C charging, which makes it quite convenient. There it is. Right, this is the interesting part. So I don't really know enough about this. With your slots, the Alliance H1 amateur radio can act as a makeshift repeater, enabling communication between slot 1 and slot 2 on the same frequency. Multiple H1s in a given area can create a mesh network, allowing a single CFO radio to communicate with other radios bridged by multiple H1s operating in SFR mode. The H1 is a must. Have radio and emergency situations where traditional communication systems are limited or unavailable. That does actually sound interesting. I have to look into it just that a little bit more. Same frequency relay. Time slot one, time slot two. And you've got another radio in the middle, which is obviously in SFR mode. 
encryption. Moto 32 bit encryption on these. Oops. Loan work, of course. Didn't want to miss anything. Single call, group call. And all call, I think that, that's it. Yep. Man down facility. Automatic alarm and remind your mates to ensure your safety. That's if your mates are in the same area, of course. Let's go on down again. Emergency alarm. Customised side keys. Two side keys on the left side of the two-way radio can be set to needed function freely, including power adjustment, contact list, making it easier to operate. That's not too bad. They customise the side keys. I'm not too sure if that said the radio or in the CPS. I haven't quite seen the CPS yet, so it might not necessarily be available. I've actually sent uh, Retrievers an email asking for the, the, the CPS. One touch call can be handy. Last heard function. Nice screen layout. Not too sure if that's in dark mode or day mode. Could be. Power adjustments, high power for long distance, middle power for, and low power for long battery life. Night mode. It does have night mode. The H1 handheld radio supports day and night in two modes. Day mode suits daytime to check information clearly. Night mode offers the comfortable light to operate. So that is actually, let's go back up again and have a look. That is actually night mode. And does actually look very nice. That's what comes in the package. Data cable by one, hand strap, the radio itself, belt clip, battery, desktop charger, user manual, and obviously the cable for charging. So there's anything underneath. It's obviously the two meter band, 70 SEMS, um, the receive is obviously two meters and 70 SEMS, transmit two meters and 70 SEMS, looks like it may do PMR as well, and GMRS, but I'm not too sure, it won't be GMS and digital, I don't want a thought, perhaps I'm not a GMSR user or license holder, I can't really tell you. some uh, statistics there for you if you want to have a look again tx power is six watts high middle watts three watts and low power is half a watt and that does actually look and it also receives the uh, NOAA weather um, channels for the Americans not available over here in the UK. CTCS scan and, and uh, all that lot as well, as you would expect on the radio like this. No product reviews yet. And obviously it's got a mic gain setting. It does actually look nice. I quite, uh, quite fancy that radio. That's obviously the day mode there. We've just seen the night mode. Go back up to the top. And there it is. And they've got it in stock. That works out around about 140 here in the UK. Uh, you can get um, free postage. Or you can pay postage. That takes a little bit quicker. Depending. All, all got the information on the uh, on the cart there. If you if you do actually purchase it, 
don't think it's a bad price. I think that's I think when I got my HD one, that was about one seventy. So it's it, it's it's a not bad price. Not too sure what um, the tariffs will be. If there will be any. For our friends across the water in the states, no doubt there would be. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, M Radio Three Point Zero. Please like and subscribe. Seventy threes. Catch you again soon.